Hello, Katya here um, from Finaba Design Team. This is a video for with Finaba uh, products, and I have this rusty birdhouse from uh, Finaba, and I'm having an idea, and I will change it totally. I start by having modeling paste from Finaba. Uh, I have a stencil and I have an idea to do a gingerbread house and I'm thinking these uh, shapes uh, are like breads and cookies and like that and that's my basic idea. Candy house, gingerbreads, something like that. Okay, I'm happy you're here. Uh, hope you're or uh, will watch the long, this long video. It's always a little bit tricky when you're doing uh, recording dimensional products. Uh, so I'm have trying to do my best and try to speed up some places. Please give the video a thumbs up and share if you like. And leave me also a comment. I would be so happy to hear from you. When I have add a little bit texture, my house will be really busy. So the base of a house, I need to have it clean uh, because I'm thinking to do it a little bit colorful and like that. So I'm painting the inside white because it will be a brown gingerbread color on the outside. The down on the frame of the house, it will be white because it's like nature and you find this uh, house in the wood. Uh, so it's a wintry scene downstairs and up you can go and find your gingerbread and candy house. I have the 3D matte gel. I adding some tassel of uh, of threads um, of two reasons it's perfect for a like, snow area like but i also want to glue these wooden pieces so it helps me to add like a base because this bottom part will be like a nature for my gingerbread house and uh, i must say i had so fun playing with this house it was tricky. Yeah, it's like that, but it's fun. And um, this will be a decoration uh, on my table uh, instead of baking your kitchen uh, gingerbread house. I have decorated this metal frame bird house. It be it will be great. And I'm using the 3D matte gel, and it works perfect to glue like. Deco decorations, plastic and metallic and fabric, anything you like. For the base here, I have find some small animals, some reindeers or something uh, that will be on the, bow, uh, on the uh, downstairs uh, under the house and I'm paint them little bit dry brushing like uh, with the white heavy gesso and I'm adding also some glitter to make it like crispy. So only a tiny touch of gesso and adding also some glitter uh, to make it shiny and also these small trees they are coming from Prima and uh, I will add them. And then the small reindeers, they come from like a dollar store here in Sweden. Now I'm adding hot glue. Uh, I want the edges of this house uh, to be a little bit bulky and icy. So I start to using my glue gun. And you see me adding and leave it for drying 
and you can do this with the glue gun in the later uh, later on on your project but I did it here uh, and I don't really have a reason why it feels right and you start here because when I start this project I didn't really know where to end up that's how it is I'm starting and the project growing in the same time as I'm creating yep that's uh, how it is let me know how you do do you all do you do all your plans or you have a vision or how it works some people they doing a sketch I'm not that one here I have the metallic acrylic paint, uh, steam cum copper. It's a gorgeous paint, metallic and brown, beige, goldish color. And now I paint the house, but I leave the where I have used the glue gun. I paint carefully around it, and I want to keep it like that so I paint the base of the house and leave that for drying when it's dry I will add the liquid acrylic paint burnt sienna it's also acrylic paint and this project and this paint it's liquid and I dip my brass in the in the jar carefully and here I want to add like more shadow and more more brown to the project and now in my eyes it looked like oven baked uh, gingerbread and to not have the brush strokes I'm spraying some water on the project I want to have a little bit more where the modeling paste is but that's because then the pattern will show better because the liquid acrylic paint will dry up in the gaps and drying up and it will show and already right now it's the pattern what I've done, done with the stencil shows much more better. And I'm doing this on the sides too. And I must say, I love the burnt sienna. Just my favorite color. It's so beautiful brown shade. So you see me adding where I have the stenciling. I add a little bit extra on these places. Okay, it's time to glue again. I'm using the heavy body gel from Finabare. It's a really strong gel that you can glue everything. Uh, so I'm adding like a big piece from the gel. And the heavy body gel, it's not for stenciling and like that. It's perfect for gluing. And it's so, so strong that it can hold many things. I have even uh, glued a kitchen shelf with this heavy body gel. So I'm gluing things downstairs. And now I'm doing something I'm not sure about. Yes. I have these uh, candies. I don't know what's the name in English, but it's a non-stop in Swedish, like candy. And in different colors, they come like that. And I'm thinking I'm using the glue gun. So I start with the glue gun, but I find uh, the, you know, the glue guns, uh, strings what I get it's annoying me so I'm changing my mind so I will add the 3d mat gel instead so I'm putting randomly the gel and I'm thinking to add 
the only thing what I'm doing, I'm sure that I want to mix my colors of this candy. And mm, should I use candy? No, if you have buttons or something else fun, use that because it was really, really tricky and nervous by doing and using candy. And this I discovered after a while. So was so nervous, but if it haven't worked, I'm thinking, okay, what can happen? Uh, I paint it over or I try to get it off. Here I add some modeling paste in a small plastic. And you see, I will add the modeling paste in a corner and use my scissor to open it like a small. And now I will do like when you do baking and, and like that. And I will add the modeling paste like um, doing effect and uh, using that for making the white and snowy effects. So you see me start and yeah, I wasn't, I have a, I should need to practice, that's the right word, yes, because this was much more difficult to do. I was practicing like only once and I would think, oh, it works, and I was testing how it was looking dry and looked perfectly. But here when I'm doing, I'm not happy with the look. So what I'm doing, because I have glued the, the pieces, uh, the candy with gel. So I'm pulling them out and I want the modeling paste to come like in the middle. So I'm doing this, adding and where I can pull some of the candies off, I'm doing that. So it was very, very, very tricky um, before I find out how should I do. But I'm not afraid. Mm, what can happen if it doesn't work? I find like a new solution. So, but I don't re I recommend because what's happened with this is when the candy is drying uh, with the gel, it's uh, melting the thin layer of like glaze on my project, it start to melt slowly, slowly, it was dripping. So I allowed everything to dry. So while, when I was doing this inside, the clock was really late and I only do one side. And I was neighbor, uh, so nervous because everything was dripping. Yeah, I have no video of that because it was so scary. And now the inside. I have like uh, old, what do you call it? Uh, Christmas tree that is cut out with some texture and I want to have the Christmas tree inside and and also the down is exactly the size, so I can prepare the inside. And I will use a 3D matte gel and I have some embellishments from Prima and I will glue them also. It will be like, uh, symbolize like a big um, pot or a big uh, something like that where you have some candy and I was thinking to have like real candy but they was too, they were too big so instead I'm adding some reddish colorful pearls that symbolize the candy factory inside the house Painting the background white because I want it to be like white inside. So it's, 
you can watch inside and see what's happening. Yeah, now it's time for Finabar's uh, effect paste, Golden Dragon, and I'm adding um, the paste with a brush. And it's a glitter and it's flake and it goes in gold and there will be a golden Christmas. So I'm adding the paste so I will have a golden tree inside. And now it's dry. So, so nervous and it looks like a little bit messy and the down is uh, dry and I made the both sides. So my project, it needed so much drying time because on the candy, I couldn't use my heat tool. And you can see how my project downstairs with the animals have been dry up. And I'm so happy that we are uh, coming, have coming so far. And it's much more easy when things, you know, when things are dry because it gets a little bit more easy to handle. I have some windows and I glue them and now I'm adding the snowflake paste from Finaware to add like the windows are like snowy and I have some glitter and also I have like small, small, tiny sterilite uh, balls and they are very dent away nothing but they are really, really great. A little bit tricky but I will have these sterilites little bit everywhere in each window and on the roofs and also in the nature downstairs of the house. Now you see me, I have like a wreath with a ribbon, classic red and white. And the wreath is from a free collection from Prima, uh, Fina, no, from Prima last year. Now I want to add like lace. It looks like uh, icy yellow or something like that. And I'm use make it easy for myself. So I'm using glue gun. Inside is dried up and I have also glue like a red heart and it's so easy when you have prepared it's only to pop it inside and close and now I'm adding the white uh, tassel white uh, yarn uh, strings and um, gluing on top some candy Again, it's a real candy and it was so easy that it broken, but I find it really fun to create and to find new stuff. And I know people will ask me, how will this be? Will it hold? I don't know. I could perhaps spray something on the candy and see how it will work. So I will take care of it and uh, see what's happened when I will uh, add it in a box during the summertime and see what's happening. If it's destroyed next year, um, I perhaps uh, do something on the candy or the roof because the rest will be perfect. But this year it will work and if I need to change the the uh, to take off the candy, I do that then. I really start to get happy about it. So this will be perfect decoration for my Christmas table.
And you see me adding around now the snowflake paste, adding and tapping. So when it's wet, I'm adding the sterilite small bowl, um, bowls. And that is to symbolize uh, like the snowflakes. So it will be like snowy gingerbread house in the forest. Yes, yes, yes. So fun. Now we have the crushed ice from Finnabar and that will be my last touch. Everywhere where I had the glue gun, now I will add the crushed ice. And that is to give effect like crushed ice, like icy look, it, it's icy. And that's why I have the glue gun underneath to make it like more effectful, to make more icy because it's shiny. That's why I haven't glue underneath. So I'm doing that everywhere where I have the glue gun. And look what I found in my stats. Yeah, of course we need to have like mm, this baking tool. Yeah, and my gingerbread house is uh, finished. Please, please give the thumbs up and let me know what you think. I'm so happy of it. And please stay tuned so you can see the pictures. I leave this for drying and take pictures for you. So thank you for joining and have a nice December and crafting and have a, have a nice time. I'm happy about my crazy candy gingerbread house. Thank you and uh, take care.